Indiana Landmark saves meaningful places, and these 10 places are full of meaning and potential, and they're imperiled. Help us mobilize support for their preservation. The Harmony Way Bridge leads from the historic town of New Harmony across the Wabash River to Illinois. It's a 1930 iron toll bridge with a friendly human gatekeeper, or rather, it was until it was shut down. Declared unsafe, the National Register listed bridge closed last May. Since then, business and tourism in New Harmony have declined. The White County Bridge Commission doesn't have the money for repair, and neither Illinois nor Indiana will accept responsibility for the span. Closed after it first appeared on the 10 most endangered list last year, Harmony Way Bridge is even more threatened in 2013. The Ohio River is still pounding away at the old Clarksville site, and we're keeping it on the 10 most endangered list to help get attention from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The nearly 300-acre site includes remnants of prehistoric settlements, the place where George Rogers Clark's cabin stood, and the spot where Lewis and Clark launched their famous expedition in 1803. Without intervention by the Corps, erosion caused by a dam on the river will eventually erase the old Clarksville site. The Pantheon in Vincennes is another repeat on the 10 most endangered list. Built in 1921, it hosted national stars, Broadway shows, and local productions in a space full of ornamental plaster and painted details. The Renaissance Revival Style Theater closed in 1961, and today interior views might be classified as ruin porn. The property went to tax sale last fall. While deterioration remains the primary threat, squint and you'll see that this is a grand and inspiring place worthy of rescue. Madison was a working river town long before it drew attention for its dense collection of 19th century houses and commercial buildings. The Eagle Cotton Mill was one of the workhorses, producing twine and fabric that shipped down the river. The four-story mill and additions survive as a masonry shell in the heart of the city's National Historic Landmark District. The man who bought the place in 2007 installed a new roof on the tallest section, intending to reinvent it as a resort. The recession torpedoed his plans. The Eagle Cotton Mill, downtown Madison's largest landmark and connection to its industrial past, needs investment and redevelopment before the walls come tumbling down. In World War II, the Allies fired millions of rounds of ammunition, much of it manufactured in a sprawling compound eight miles south of Laporte. Built beginning in 1940, the Kingsbury Ordnance Plant employed more than 20,000 people during the war years, nearly half of them women. Every shell filler on the assembly lines passed through the Kingsbury Employment Office, created by John Lloyd Wright, inventor of Lincoln Logs and accomplished designer of international-style buildings. The son of Frank Lloyd Wright lived in Long Beach, Indiana from 1923 to 1946. Vacant for decades, the employment office needs a buyer who will renovate and use the landmark, appreciating its design and role in our national story. One hundred and more years ago, the main religious denominations in the U.S. built grand houses of worship in big cities and small towns. In truth, they may have competed a little bit to make an impression in size, height of tower, amount of stained glass. Throughout the state, many of these historic structures are going dark, sitting vacant, deteriorating. The Walkerton Presbyterian Church in St. Joseph County was built in 1903 of a new material, concrete block with a rock face finish formed by machine on site. Stained glass windows and ceilings of pine and oak made it a warm, resonant space. Vacant and deteriorating now, the church has been condemned by the town, which will demolish it unless we can find a buyer who will repurpose it. The Walkerton Church is a 10 most endangered stand-in for all threatened historic churches. A road widening project threatens Fort Wayne's Brookview Irvington Park Historic District, a neighborhood recognized for its picturesque natural beauty, landscape design, and landmark houses by women architects. A plan by traffic engineers proposes widening State Boulevard to four lanes, a change that would alter the historic landscape of the neighborhood, destroy historic houses and a bridge, 
and violate George Kessler's National Register-listed park and boulevard system. Indiana Landmarks hopes the 10 most listing will launch a constructive dialogue with the city on alternatives that will minimize damage to the district and lead to a plan that isn't all about moving more cars faster from point A to point B. The National Register listed Flanner House Homes Historic District in Indianapolis faces threats on two sides. The district's 181 homes were built between 1950 and 1959 through an innovative self-help cooperative. African American families, who found it hard to secure conventional mortgages in the segregated city, helped build their own homes. More than half are still owned by the builders or their descendants. Meyer wants to acquire and demolish 35 of the Flanner House homes in its bid to build a massive store on city-owned land north of the district. Inside the southern border of the area, the original Phillips Temple sits vacant. Indianapolis Public Schools owns the 1924 African American landmark and wants to demolish it for parking. The Flanner House Homes District represents a hard-won heritage that deserves respect, recognition, and protection. Ten most endangered status adds muscle to the preservation battle. The foreclosure crisis hits new and old structures, but it can strike historic houses with deadlier force. If a roof leak develops in a suburban house, a section of drywall gets ruined. Not a big deal to replace. When the tile roof of the Bowen House springs a leak, decorative plaster, wall murals, carved woodwork, and wainscoting suffer, and may not recover if it remains vacant much longer. Built on Delphi's Main Street in 1896, it's one of the town's great Victorian houses. The 10 most endangered Bowen House, vacant and in real estate limbo, endures slow demolition by neglect. Most people who see pictures of the Anderson Athletic Park pool say, wow, cool pool. Built in 1925, it's one of only a few swimming pools remaining of the 130 constructed across America, following an unusual design by engineer Wesley Bintz. Bintz patented an egg-shaped, above-ground pool that incorporated dressing rooms under the structure. Less excavation, lower construction costs, brilliant. Ten most endangered status will help draw attention to this unusual structure, sidelined since 2007 and threatened by vandalism and deterioration. If you'd like more information on one or all of the 10 most endangered, you'll find it at www.indianalandmarks.org.